Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Rappahannock River, otherwise known as the Battle of Waterloo Bridge, White Sulphur Springs, Lee Springs, or Freeman's Ford. Located in Culpeper and Fakir Counties, Virginia on August 22nd to the 25th, 1862. In mid-August, Union Major General George B. McClellan started a process of redeploying his army to meet up with U.S. General Pope's newly formed Army of the Virginia on the Rapidan. This information was leaked to Confederate General Robert E. Lee, who ordered Confederate Major General James Longstreet to reinforce Stonewall Jackson near Gordonville. During this process, General Lee arrived in Gordonsville on August 15th and assumed command, while Union General Pope pulled his Union troops back to the Rappahannock River on August 21st. The battle started during a small skirmish raid led by General Jeb Stewart's cavalry. Attacking Pope's headquarters at Catlett Station, Stewart was successful in obtaining important military plans including the destinations and timetables of Union troops. These plans also included the even larger Union of the Army of the Potomac being sent to reinforce Pope. Over the next several days, Lee took advantage of this information and launched several skirmishes along the Rappahannock River. These included the above-mentioned places of Waterloo Bridge, Lee Springs, Freeman's Ford, and Sulphur Springs. Stonewall Jackson meanwhile broke off and attacked Bristow Station and destroyed Union supplies at Manassas Junction in the rear of Pope's army. As was said, these were a bunch of minor skirmishes that did not result in any significant change of the forces. Estimated casualties for the Union was 172 men killed, wounded, and missing, while the Confederate forces lost approximately 53 men killed and wounded. Well, that's it. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.